What's going on, Gatewalkers? It's Otto, and today I want to put out a quick video on some basic tips that will help any new player when they first get into playing the game. Now, I was fortunate enough to um, be granted an access key from the developers. Um, big kudos to them. They're, they're pretty, pretty awesome, honestly. <laughs> it made my day. Um, but with that being said, it gave me a one day early access. So I was able to play for a few hours tonight. Didn't want to get too ahead of my friend as he has to wait till tomorrow uh, to join me. Um, however, let's talk about the nitty gritty. So for the first tip, I think it is highly recommended to just pull up the progress tree and look it over. Look at the weapons and look at the armor. All right, there's light, medium, and heavy armor, and there's a lot of weapons to look through. Uh, look through it, get an idea of what you want to do, what path you want to take, um, because you are limited with your progress points. You can't just unlock a bunch of stuff off the rip, and it, it takes time to acquire those points, okay? So with tip number two, okay, this is actually a pretty big one. I didn't realize this right away, so let my mistake serve you. <laughs> um, but when you go to transmute materials and actually take the raw materials and make them into something you use, you're going to have your first tier here. And uh, as you see, uh, I had a bunch, so I crafted a bunch. Well, it uses all of the materials in that category. All right. So if you need it, it's OK to use it. But you may want to just pay attention. You could be using things you may need for other other mats, right? So for tip number three, uh, this is actually a pretty simple one. Um, but again, this is a mistake I made. So I would highly recommend on the very first mission to acquire as many raw materials as you can and um, pick up about 15 ish. 16 ish uh, rocks you'll need those to craft two stone rings and a stone amulet that's going to give you some bonus stamina and um, just acquire a bunch of wood any plants that you see and definitely any copper ore okay because you're going to want to get these materials to be able to craft uh, level two or tier two items and um, after the first mission they're going to give you free mats to uh, pick your first weapon I chose the bow and when I got to the the very first boss that you fight like actual boss uh, it was challenging with the bow <laughs> as a solo player at least so um, I had to go back and farm materials to acquire a different weapon I ended up going hammer and shield but just grab as much as you can before you finish it's an easy mission just take advantage of it you won't regret it and for tip number four i would recommend on the first boss right if you're playing with a friend it's probably not going to matter what weapon choice you're going with um, but i would recommend going with the hammer and shield and the reason being is that you get two different movement abilities right so you have the roll from the armor that you have equipped to the medium armor and then with the shield you get a shield charge and that gives you you know two ways to move a little quicker allowing you to dodge a lot of the attacks that this boss is going to put out not only that but as he spawns in there's a brief moment of time just maybe two or three seconds where you can actually get some damage off and uh it's just a it's just a free damage phase take advantage of that look it took about a quarter of his life before we even started the fight almost a quarter uh, but nonetheless, uh, those are my four basic tips for any brand new player coming into Gatewalkers. If you've enjoyed the video, drop a like, comment down below. But until next time, Autobot out.